All right, let's do some debugging. Fun fruits. Images are supposed to be 100 pixels high. Height property not working. Let's find the bug. All right, go to style. Oh, this is kind of small. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. Style. Here's our images. Here's our height. It's at 100, right? But we're missing the PX pixels. P X. All right. It's good. Origami paper folding. Debug the style. None of the styles are working on this page. Debug, debug the code, then change the style to something you like. Okay. So, what are we doing here? Our index and our style. The style looks okay, actually. Go back to our index. And I see the problem. It's not connecting the style sheet, right? So SRC actually needs to be href. And there it is. So now we just have to mess with the styles. So let's go instead of light blue, let's go blue. What happened? Green? Hit that index. Oh, there it goes. <clears throat> uh, that looks horrible. Let's go white. There, that's easier to read. <sighs> Let's change these borders. 50. Make it rounder. Oh, let's make them all the way around. 90. Width, let's go 100. That looks pretty good. I want these to go left. We can. Text. I don't know. Let's make it no serifs or something. Sans serifs. Maybe a little bit bigger. Cool. I like it. So really all we did was on the index made sure we had the correct link to link to the style sheet and then we just messed around with the styles. Debug the heading. What's wrong with the code? Okay. The preview for this page looks fine, and the elements are being correctly, but if you look in the code, something isn't quite right. Can you spot the code is wrong? All right, I think it's just this right here, right? Because usually in the head, we have just the, the link to the style sheet, so I think they just wanted to cut this out. Move that over. And then drop it in there. So it's the same thing, just cleaner. 
no big deal. Add new rules. The rules for the body right now are not very exciting. Add some more to make it look cool. You can also add or change the rules. Yeah, that's not very exciting, so let's go ahead and uh, excite it up. All right, um, maybe put a background on it. So that would go in here, right, in the body. background color right I just click it and then I just choose one bisque how about bisque oh very nice all right and then remember we have to have that semicolon it's crucial and I like the alignment it's kind of it looks good and then maybe on the H6, that's pretty, uh, I don't like that on the, all the way on the left. Let's go right, I mean, on the right, let's go left. Yeah, it looks nicer. And then, on the H3, let's find the H3. Oh. There is no H3. Well, let's add one. So all I'm going to do is copy the H6 style. All right. Hit enter. Paste it in there. And instead of H6, I'll make this one H3. And then I'll add some size to it. Maybe change the color. Text align left. Font size, and let's go, I don't know, 15. PX, and then hit that semicolon. That looks good. And maybe we'll change the color to red. Font color. Ooh. It's not font color, it's just color. Aqua? It looks horrible. All right, let's try something like red or something. There we go, that looks much nicer. And then add that semicolon. Um, let's move the picture from the right to the left. So we'll go left. That looks good. All right. Fix the image width. The images here are all different sizes, with some of them way too big. Create a rule that makes the width of all images the same and size them down. Alright. To do that, we go to Style. And here's our images, right? And we want to change the width. So we're just going to add width, width, and then let's go, let's try 150 just for the heck of it, P, X, oh yeah, that's much nicer, make sure and put that semicolon, okay, that was it. So all I did was add another rule that all the images, all these, are going to be a width of 150 pixels. 
right? So all the ones in here, image, 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 all get knocked down to 150 pixels. That was not bad. Fix an image position. Okay. Move the images using the float property so that they are to the side of the text rather than below it. All right, so we go to style, image, right, and we're using the float. So all we have to do is type in float. F L O. All right, float. Let's go left, and there we go. You can add a border if you want. Border. Whoa, whoa. All right, this is a good learning moment. See what happens? I forgot to put the uh, semicolon there, so that's all messed up. That's why the semicolon is crucial. Okay, border. Border. Border width. It's border width. Border width. Medium. And then let's go border color. Change the color. Border color. Black. Now we'll do, actually, you know what, instead of medium, let's do 10 pixels. And let's do border style. Border style. Solid. Double. There we go. And then if we want to round those corners some more, we can change the radius. Right. I think that's good. All right. That's it, we're done.